Hello children. Hi, this is Farin Miss. Today we are going to learn maths of standard second. Do you know notes and coins? We all know we use money to buy things. They come in two forms. Notes and coins. They are called currency. In India, the currency name is represented by rupee or paisa. Let's learn how to add currency of different denomination to get the total amount. We will also look at how we can make different types of change with different denomination. So let's start. Indian currency notes. In India, we have 500 rupees note, 200 rupees note, 100 rupees note, 50 rupees note, 20 rupees note, and 10 rupees note. Each note and coin has a different number written on it. That number indicates its value. Remember children, the symbol is the Indian currency symbol. We always write the symbol when we are writing their denomination. These are the Indian currency coins. 1 rupee coin, 2 rupees coin, 5 rupees coin, 10 rupees coin and 20 rupees coin. Do you know children, the RBI issues currency notes but rupee 1 notes and all coins are designed by the central government. They work together. Here the phrase guaranteed by the central government means that the government guarantees the money is genuine, is accepted nationwide and ensures that the currency system runs smoothly. The currency of India has many features such as security elements, unique designs, etc. To learn more, check out the detailed video on my YouTube channel Parheem Miss. The link is given in the description box. Do you know notes and coins? Remove page 56 from the math textbook. Now with the help of the video, let's understand this word problem. Yash and Rama have come to their uncle's village with their mother. There is a fair today. When they left for the fair, their uncle gave them rupees 100 each. Rama went to Nandukaka's shop and asked for change. Nandukaka gave her the following. So children, let's find out what change Nandukaka gave to Rama instead of rupees 100. We will also write the value of each denomination in box given below. Here the change includes 1 rupee coin, 2 rupees coin, Another 2 rupees coin, 5 rupees coin, 20 rupees note, another 20 rupees note, and one 50 rupees note. Remember, children, it is always easier to calculate the total amount by starting with the bigger denomination first. So now let's add 50 plus 20 is 70, 70 plus 20 is 90, 90 plus 5 is 95, 95 plus 2 is 97, 97 plus 2 is 99, finally plus 1 rupee to 99 to make the total amount of 100 rupees. Now convert rupees 100 into small change in three different ways. So first 50 plus 50 is 100, second we have 5 notes of 20 rupees 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 So 20 plus 20 is 40 40 plus 20 is 60 60 plus 20 is 80 80 plus 20 is 100 Next 50 plus 20 is 70 70 plus 20 is 90 90 plus 5 is 95 95 plus 5 brings a total amount of 100 rupees. Next, for a 50 rupees note, 20 plus 20 is 40, 40 plus 10 is 50. Then we have 5, 10 rupees coin, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Then last we have 20 
plus 10 is 30, then 30 plus 5 is 35, 35 plus 5 is 40, 40 plus 5 is 45, 45 plus 2 is 47, 47 plus 2 is 49, 49 plus 1 is 50. So for 500 rupees note, we have, let's start with the greater denomination first. 200 plus 100 is 300, 300 plus 100 is 400, 50 plus 50 makes 100 rupees. So 200, 300, 400 and 500. Then we have 500 rupees note, 100, 200, 300, 400 and 500. Then last we have 200 plus 200 is 400. Then add 50 plus 50 which is 100. So 400 plus 100 is 500 rupees. Have you understood children how we can make change of three different denomination using various notes and coins to reach a total amount? 500 rupees note and 50 rupees note I have added them for your practice purposes to help you understand. So also changing large notes into small coins helps you buy small things like candy or pencils etc from the shop and is also useful for travel. When we are on a bus or in an auto rickshaw as the driver or conductor often asks us for change. Let's move on to page number 57. Let's go to the market. Look at our shop. Here we pick up whatever we need. Calculate their total price. Before leaving the shop, we place the amount in the box for money. So the shop offers following items with their respective prices. Here they have balls cost 25 rupees each, then tops 10 rupees each, teddy bears for 80 rupees each, then pencils they have 1 cost rupees 7, books 1 cost rupees 20, then bananas they have 1 dozen cost rupees 36 and 1 banana cost rupees 3. Then in one dozen children, there are 12 bananas. So, 12 into 3 is 36. On the right hand side, there is cars for rupees 60 each. Then dolls again for rupees 60 each. Erasers for rupees 6 each. Then chocolates they have for rupee 1 each. Some packets are there for 10 rupees each. Then milk for one glass rupees 15. Let's see children who will be the first customer to buy something from the shop. Here comes the first customer John. John bought a ball and a car. A ball cost rupees 25 and a car cost rupees 60. Let's start with a greater number to add in tens first. So 60 plus 20 is 80 then add units 5 80 plus 5 is 85 we put 85 rupees in the box next is sony sony bought a doll and a top a doll cost rupees 60 and a top cost rupees 10 so 60 plus 10 is 70 so she put 70 rupees in the box Next is Devanj. Devanj bought two bananas and a glass of milk. Here one banana cost rupees three. So he bought two bananas. Two into three is six. And a glass of milk. One glass of milk cost rupees fifteen. Let's add by counting forward. Making six sticks. And then count each stick after 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So after 15, let's count. 
सिक्सटीन सेवेंटीन एटीन नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ही पुट ट्वेंटी वन रुपीज इन द बॉक्स देन लास्ट इज परी परी बॉट वन नोटबुक एंड टू पेंसिल्स वन नोटबुक कॉस्ट रुपीज ट्वेंटी शी बॉट टू पेंसिल्स ये वन पेंसिल कॉस्ट रुपीज सेवन टू इंटू सेवन इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन सो लेट्स एड सो ट्वेंटी प्लस टेन इज थर्टी थर्टी प्लस फोर इज थर्टी फोर शी पुट थर्टी फोर रुपीज इन द बॉक्स राइट नंबर्स लाइक दिस इन द गिवन बॉक्स नाउ लास्ट यू चूज वॉट वुड यू लाइक टू बाय फ्रॉम दिस शॉप आफ्टर बाइंग द थिंग्स हाउ मच मनी विल यू put into the box now it's your turn children you can buy one or two item or as many as you wish after that calculate the amount and write it down in your rough notebook activity time add the currency so in this activity children you are going to add the following currencies let's start 20 Plus ten is thirty. Plus five is thirty-five rupees. Also remember, children, when you are writing the amount, you are going to write the symbol first and then the amount. Next, hundred plus fifty is one fifty rupees. Plus fifty make total amount of two hundred rupees. Next, and the last one. Five plus five is ten. Ten plus two is twelve. So altogether, it make twelve rupees. Tender change for the following notes. So children, here in this activity, we need to provide exact change in the box for the following notes using the coins given below. We can place any coins that add up to the total amount of the ten rupees note as well as the twenty rupees note. So let's start. I have a ten rupee note. How many coins will I get in exchange for it? In the box, I am going to add five coins. One, two, three, four. And five. Here we will use a multiplication trick to add. So how many coins are there? Five coins. The worth of the coin is two rupees. So five into two is ten. How many coins I'll get in exchange for it? Five coins of two rupees. So alternatively, I could add two coins each worth rupees five. So two coin of five rupees, two into five is equal to ten rupees as well. So both result in a total of ten rupees. For a twenty rupee note, I can add either two ten rupee coins. Two into ten is equal to twenty, or I can add four five rupee coins. One, two. Three and four, which also total twenty rupees. Four fives are twenty. Here, how many coins I have? Four coins of worth rupees five. So in exchange, I can get either two ten rupee coins or four five rupee coins for twenty rupee note. And same for ten rupee note, I could get five. Two rupee coins, either or two five rupee coins, both result in a total of same amount. Circle the required coins to buy the object. So our first object is kite, cost rupees twenty seven. Let's circle the coins to make the total amount twenty seven rupees. So we will be requiring a twenty rupees coin, a five rupees coin. And a two rupees coin to make total amount of twenty seven rupees. Now let's add twenty 
plus 5 which is 25 plus 2 making it 27 rupees. Next object is chocolate that cost rupees 45. So we will circle a 20 rupees coin, another 20 rupees coin and a 5 rupees coin. Now let's add 20 plus 20 is 40 plus 5 makes a total amount of 45 rupees. Now next object is t-shirt which cost rupees 89. Let's circle 20 rupees coin, another 20 rupees coin, again one more 20 rupees coin, 10 rupees coin are going to circle, another 10 rupees coin. Now let's add 20 plus 20 is 40, 40 plus 20 is 60, 70, 80. Still 9 rupees left, more coins we required to make a total amount of rupees 89. So I will circle 5 rupees coin, it make 85 rupees, 86, 87, 2 rupees coin, another 2 rupees coin, 88, 89. Now let's add it again, 20 plus 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80 plus 5, 85, 86, 87. 88, 89. There are two pens. So the, both the pen cost rupees 30. So one pen cost rupees how much children? 50. 15 into 2 is equal to 30. Let's circle a 10 rupees coin, another 10 rupees coin, 5 rupees coin, another 5 rupees coin. Now let's add 10 plus 10 is 20. 20 plus 5 is 25. 25 plus 5 makes 30 rupees. Children, now that you understand the importance of currency notes and coins, remember to use them wisely and always seek guidance from your parents. Be sure to check that the notes you use are not torn or damaged. Observe how your parents manage money and save it carefully. It is a great way to learn. Also, don't forget to watch my previous video to discover interesting features and facts about our Indian currency. You can find the link in the description box. I hope you understand my explanation. If you find it helpful, please like, share, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Farheen Miss, thank you.